up TMB fam? I'm heading out to the meat market. Gonna grab some. I almost said it, y'all almost got me. <laughs> I'm going to get some meats for Christmas. I'm doing my meat shopping. Um, sometimes I do that a little separately. And I'll probably grab a few extra things while I'm there. This is my favorite meat market in Houston. And um, I'll probably get some things just to have them in the freezer, you know, some. So I will see y'all when I get there. <laughs> y'all I am here B&W meat market yes sir it does not look like it's all that crowded in there um, and so hopefully I won't need the microphone when it's a lot of people and it's crowded like on the weekend or whatever you would not be able to hear me over the crowd but uh, yeah it doesn't look that crowded out here in the parking lot not like it does on the weekend but we'll see y'all See y'all inside. All right, y'all. So you have to grab a number. I ended up with 86, and they only in the 50s, y'all. 59. 59. They just called out 59. So we'll see how long this takes. Hmm. Alligator. They got all kinds of frozen stuff. Kinds huh? of interesting stuff, yo. What's that? Rabbit? They got all kinds of meats, y'all. Beef, different cuts of beef, steaks, roasts, uh, frozen smoked turkey mix. We got a little seafood section, very small seafood section, as you can see. <clears throat> a 
Okay. I'm gonna get um. So yeah, once you once they collect all the things that you want, uh, they take it back there to the. I guess the meat cutters. I don't know if those guys are butchers, but they take it back there to the guys with the bandsaw, and they you know cut your meat however you ask for it to be cut and then they package it up and give it back to you. So yeah, y'all, in addition to all these meats, this place has all these different sauces, and seasonings you know it's kind of a miniature grocery store also uh, but focused on meat I guess you know like I said seasonings and rubs got some duck duck fat some bone broth like I said all these different sauces and glazes They got your little Louisiana section here. We try to, um, Tony Sachere is the queen's go-to, of course, for Cajun seasoning or Creole seasoning. But we try to be on the lookout for anything that's low in salt or especially if it's got no salt. Shout out Tangy's Blend. But yeah, just a huge array of sauces and rubs and seasonings, barbecue sauces. And y'all, just this just seems random. This section of pickled meats. So they got the they got the pork sausage, they got the pig's feet. They ain't got no pig lips. Y'all want to know what I got? So I'm about to do a haul and show y'all what I got from the meat market. So let me give y'all the obvious first. Um. I went in there looking for meat, didn't I? So I told y'all I was shopping for some Christmas related stuff. In other words, meat that I'm going to use for Christmas. This is not one of them. These are some turkey wings. Got some turkey wings. They cut them, separated them into drum, to, um, drums, flats, and tips. So yeah. I got a whole fryer here. Now this is the Christmas, y'all. Got a chicken, a whole fryer. Now that's whole. I had them leave that whole. Because I'm probably going to rotisserie it. Um, I got some smoked turkey necks. That's one neck, y'all. This is just one neck, but this is going in my greens. Y'all saw that there is a section with frozen stuff. 
So I got some crawfish boudin, y'all. Y'all know the queen loves boudin, being from, Louis being from Louisiana. And most boudin has pork in it. Well, this is crawfish boudin. And then I just got some, uh, some Louisiana classic fry. We like to use this for frying fish. Got some fish fry. Yeah. Y'all, these two products, this makes really good fried chicken. This fish fry makes really good fried fish. Now, they got a shrimp fry too, but they didn't have that there. No, if you don't want to do your usual cornmeal or just flour or flour and cornmeal or whatever your usual batter is, you can do that. Now, these are some Van Holten's hot pickles. This ain't for me, y'all. The queen loves... The queen and Caden, like... Ain't no way, ain't no way to say it, is it? They like whole pickles. <laughs> I picked up this spicy habanero sauce. It's a glaze and grilling sauce. I'm probably gonna use it on some wings or something at some point. Maybe I'll put it on these turkey wings. And then I just picked up some bacon bits. We like to, you know, eat these on, um, on salads. I don't know why there's... Every time we go to the grocery store, y'all, they don't have this. They have other brands and stuff. Um, mostly it's the ones with actual bacon. These are what we call accidentally vegan because there's no, it's just bacon flavor. There's no actual bacon in there. This is something I got for her to try. We like to try different Cajun seasonings and Creole seasonings. Of course, Tony Sachere is her go-to, but um, it has a whole lot of sodium in it, y'all. And so when we find low sodium, or like this one is no salt. Original blend of select Louisiana herbs and spices. All that's in this, y'all, is paprika, peppers, onion, garlic, and other spices, whatever that means. And then I saw this one on the shelf, y'all. It's called the Intensifier. This is a B&W product. So they make this themselves. Um, it has salt, garlic, cayenne, black pepper, paprika, sugar, and less than 2% silicon dioxide that's an anti-caking thing um, only 133 grams of sodium milligrams i might try this by itself on something but that's it y'all wait is that, yeah that's it that's my haul that is my haul that is everything y'all so i appreciate y'all for hanging out with me hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and uh y'all do all that crazy youtube stuff and we'll catch y'all on the next one tv nation out Thank <laughs> you.